Femlin was blasting from the cab window with his auto gun, and Grouse was firing his Lazrafel out the other side. There was no shifting truck 177 now. Vines, thorn creepers, and other fast growing things had meshed the axles and ruptured the tires. Look! Look! cried Femlin. There were dots in the sky, burning dots that fast resolved themselves into drop pods flaring in atmospheric entry. A dozen. Two dozen. Three. Oh, praise the Emperor, Grouse breathed. The first pods hit the ground, bouncing and tearing through the cushion of foliage. Grouse saw the men clamber out. Adeptus Astartes. Space Marines. The Lamenters. They had come as promised, yellow armor gleaming in the dying light. They had come despite the odds. The giant armored warriors, humanity's finest, deployed from their pods, blasting with bolt guns, flamers, and melters. Termagants and hormagants exploded beneath the withering firepower. Flamers burned the stinking plant growth away. Gargoyles were blown, ruptured, out of the sky. Grouse saw a ravener convulse and die under a melter's kiss. He saw plasma fire destroy a mantis killer. There, a marine with a power claw ripped a tyranid warrior in two, the corpse exploding with bile and psychic energy. Here, a marine with a rocket launcher sent up a jinking missile that blew a zonethrope into flaring specks of matter. Grouse leapt from the track's cab and ran into the fray, his laser gun blasting. Mordian troopers were with him now, enervated by the Lamenter's swinging assault. Grouse cut down a leaping Termagant in mid-air, blowing it apart. He saw four marines cripple and kill a Lictor nearby. We could live, we could live yet, he thought triumphantly. He heard a keening behind him and turned to face the horror of a Carnifex charging, blades clicking, saliva flying from the cutting limbs. Femlin tried to turn his auto-gun, but became nothing more than a shower of meat. A lamenter, two of them, hit the screamer killer from the left side with bolt rounds, and as it turned, destroying its head with melter fire. Its scything blades, still wickering lethally as it toppled, decapitated them both. Grouse fell to his knees. He honestly didn't think it possible that space marines could die. They seemed to him invulnerable godlike, the walking manifestations of the god-emperor of terror himself. But it was true. He looked down at the fallen, splintered helm of one marine, the glassy, dull, dead face peering out of it. He looked away, but saw another lamenter ripped in two by a mantis killer fifty meters away. A ravenaire fell, twisting and flicking onto three more and ground them into the soil, ripping open their armor with its chitinous mouthparts. Then Grouse saw the worst sight of all, the worst, most unmanning thing his eyes had ever witnessed. Four Lamenta space marines, falling back, overwhelmed. They scrambled through the treacherous, matted ground growth, trying to find cover from the zoanthrope that shimmered after them, spitting bolts of energized death. They turned, fired, ran on, to no avail. The hovering thing exploded one of them and then closed on the other three. One headed left and ran onto the keening bone swords of a Tyranid warrior. Another was felled by a glancing blast from the Zonethrope and was swiftly torn apart by a pack of Termagants. The last made it another twenty meters before the relentless Zonethrope hit him and exploded his armored form with a vicious stab of energy. Grouse couldn't believe what he was seeing. In the first twenty minutes from drop, the Lamenters had cut a hole in the alien assault that had punished them cruelly. Now, in just five more minutes, they were being annihilated. A spore mine from a biovore blew two more, apart, and sent a wash of mud and sap high into the air. Two Lamenters faced down another Carnifex and blew it apart with sustained bolt fire. A second later, they were both dismembered by Hormagaunts before they could reload. Grouse saw the Hive Tyrant advancing through the flaming greenery, slaughtering Space Marines with its massive blade. 
he saw the vast, obscene shapes of the Bio-Titans lurching forward in the distant smog. The last Lamenter died 39 minutes after the first had clambered from his drop pod. The convoy was ablaze, what parts of it weren't shredded or swarmed over. Grouse dropped into a foxhole, feeling the undergrowth flourish and twist around him. His body was crawling with parasitic infection. He heard chattering. On the horizon line, most nightmarish of all, the vile ripper swarms were moving in, consuming everything in their path, eating up the world. Karl Grouse made his peace with the God Emperor, with his long dead parents, with his long lost homeworld, beloved distant Mordia, praying it would never suffer this blasphemous fate. He put the snout of his laze gun in his open mouth, 